Good morning. Today is the 31st of August and I'm just getting ready to depart on my long weekend bike trip. I'm going from here in just outside of Bathurst. I'm going to ride I guess south and then east to Karakat and I'm going to camp in Karakat tonight and I might go further tomorrow. We'll see what see what happens there. So I brought with me this time a tent and sleeping bag because I'm going to camp in Karakat. And this time I brought bringing with me four liters of water instead of two because although water is heavy, running out of water is awful. Um, these are my tools. Underneath there I've got a lunch and some makings of lunch for tomorrow. And there is my clothes. I've also got a bike lock down deep in there. And I'm gonna take my GPS with me again. It's got the route programmed into there. It says it's 76.6 kilometers to destination. So it's not too far a ride, but um, if I can get my extra riding in tomorrow, and I'm gonna ride further towards Lamech. And uh, we'll see how far I can go out onto that peninsula. And then I'll just come back and I'll probably camp at the same spot again in Karakat and just leave my tent and sleeping bag and most of that heavy stuff in uh, Karakat. So just me and the bike basically that are going out onto the peninsula. So uh, right now it's about 8.40. So I'm just going to take off and start my journey down the road. So I've been riding for just over an hour now and uh, it's time for my first break. I've traveled about 20 kilometers so far and uh, the place where I stopped I saw along the side of the road there's this gravel path which goes pretty much parallel to the road and I had heard of this path before and I had heard that you could ride it all the way to Karakat um, but I planned my route around uh, the road just because I knew the road and I knew uh, that you'd get some good scenery from the road uh, but in fact I've, I have found this path now and the sign does say that it goes all the way to Karakat 60 kilometers down the road and you could even go further go around the peninsula and get to Trakiti Shila uh, 110 kilometers I'm not gonna do that but uh, I could um, but I think today I'm not going to take this path just because I don't know, like the gravel here is nice and smooth, that'd be great for biking on, but but who knows, you know, three kilometers down the road it could turn into big, big huge gravel stones, so I don't want to take it and then get drawn away from this road and then have to turn back because that wouldn't be ideal. Uh, but I will consider taking this path on my way back from Karakat on Monday, or Sunday depending on how I decide to do my trip. So I'm going to do some stretching to loosen up my legs a little bit and then I'll continue uh, down the road. I've now traveled about 45 kilometers. I've been riding for just over two hours. Um, so I'm just about at my halfway mark, a little bit past I think. Just stopped here. I'm going to stop for lunch, have a little sandwich or two, just on this little flat part between houses because there's a bridge here because there's a river down there. So nice scenery as well. Well, I'm now at my third and probably final stop before I get to Karakat. And this is a visitor information center which is made out of an old lighthouse, I guess. Or it's supposed to look like a lighthouse at least.
Well, I've arrived here at my campsite. I decided to choose one that was right on the water, number 73, here at the campground just outside of uh, Karakat. It's quite a big campground. Lots of motorhomes here. And all the way around the outside is all tent spots. No service spots. So this campground's right on the ocean. You can see that there's some people out enjoying the water. There's a guy out there with his dog. A guy out in his kayak. So I'm going to set up my tent right around somewhere over here. And uh, see what else we can do. After I arrived in town this afternoon, I didn't go straight to the campground. I actually rode into town first and ate lunch. And then I came back back to the campground because the campground's uh, near the west end of town where I biked through. So I'm back here now and I've paid for two nights and uh, hopefully it'll be a good stay. Well now it's almost 8 o'clock p.m. and I've got the campsite all set up. I've been to town and gotten groceries. Um, when I picked this spot there was many 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 spots to choose from so I got one of my first choices of spots uh, but as the day has moved on this campground has become very very full and I'd be surprised if there were many more spots left got my food hanging there in that tree just because I don't really have anywhere to store it because everyone else seems to be storing their food in their cars but I don't have a car so this is what I'm doing instead. <laughs> 